Okay, so we're going to do some muscle testing on the rectus femoris. Dana is eight weeks out post-surgery, and uh, so what we're going to do is first do a baseline test. So we haven't done um, any uh, strengthening whatsoever. What we're going to try and do is see what kind of readout she gets um, on the baseline test. So Dana, go ahead and lift your leg up. I want you to hold there. Ready? Resist. Okay, so now um, what we're going to do is a muscle activation treatment on the rectus femoris. So what I'm going to do is go to the origin just below the anterior superior iliac spine of the left side of her pelvis. And then we're going to go to just superior of the patella on the patella tendon before it integrates into the rectus femoris and the other three quadriceps and then we're going to go down just below the knee on the top of the tibial tuberosity. So now we're going to repeat the same test. So Dana's going to lift her leg. Hold Dana. Ready? Resist. Good. You can definitely see a different amount of um, force she's able to do and sustain it for a whole lot, or, <clears throat> excuse me, a whole lot longer time period. Now we're going to try something. Dana, I want you to flip over, and Dana's going to do an active range stretch. So what that means is I'm not going to apply any force. Dana's not applying any force. She's going to bend her knee as far as she can and lift her leg as high as she can. Tightening the glute and the hamstring, which will stretch the rectus femoris. Hold there. One, two, <clears throat> three, four, five, six. Relax. Take it one more time. Lift and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, go ahead and flip back over to Anna. So now we've done an active range stretch, only moving as far as her Quadri or her hip extensors can pull her leg back. So now we're going to do another rectus femoris test. So Dana, go ahead and lift the leg. Hold it there. Ready? Resist. Good. Okay, now we're going to do one more stretch. And the difference in this is we're going to do a passive stretch. So Dana's going to flip back over on her stomach. <clears throat> this time Dana is going to forcefully flex her knee farther than it would go on its own and lift her leg farther than it would go on its own to stretch her quadricep passively. So we're going to hold that for six, three, four, five, six. Take it there again, Dana, lift and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six. Relax. Okay? Go ahead and flip back over. Now we're going to do the same activity on the quadricep. Same test. Dana, lift your leg, hold it there, ready, resist. So, what we're seeing is when she passively stretches the rectus femoris muscle, she is taking it past its active range. Now what's happening is the Golgi tendon organ is sensing additional stress at its end range, and the nervous system is now inhibited in getting information to that muscle to contract and sustain that same force output. So based upon the principles of muscle activation techniques, we can reset this muscle. So we're going to go once again to the origin and once again to the insertion at the top of the patella and then just below the patella. And now we're going to do one more test, even after she has strained her quadricep farther than it would normally go. And now we're going to retest. Lift the leg. Hold it there. Ready? Resist. Good. And once again, we've restored its neurological ability to get um, proprioceptive messaging to that quad.